Okay, so PTTP is here in Hammersmith, uh, Hammersmith Police Station on, uh, I can't remember what road we're on now. Yeah, I've just walked up here from the British Transport Police one up the road. Um, yeah, it wasn't how much happened in the British Transport one. There was literally a like, one marked vehicle in the yard and that was it. So yeah, we're going to come check this one out. So I just noticed the notice board here, so we'll have a quick look at that. Interesting. Yeah, so yeah, it's where we're at, Hammersmith. But uh, just finishing my cigarette. So I've been naughty and fallen off the wagon with the vape. But yeah, there's no bins or nothing around, so I'm going to have to put it in my pocket because I'm not going to get done for leering. That would be a stupid thing to have to give my details for. You see this everywhere these days are really trying to encourage using online to um, record incidents. I got the uh, Ask the Police app is now live. I've not seen that one before. So that one's available for the public of England, Wales and Scotland. Supports police forces by reducing calls, freeing up emergency and 101 lines. New and improved search and site navigation. Stylish yet simple layout, helping you find the answers you need quickly. So you can download that through the App Store on, on, or on Google Play. Uh, you can go to www.askthepolice.co.uk and they've got a hashtag Ask Our App. So that's new. Not seen that before at all. And then they've got uh, Hammersmith and Fulham Council contact details up on the wall, uh, up on the window. Stabilise that for you. There we go. Now you've got all that information there if you need it. If any of you are local and I need that information, and I think it's exactly the same information over here, yeah. Sorry, just a quick question for you. The Ask the Police app, how long's that been going on for? I've not. The Ask the Police app, how new is that? A few years. A few years? Okay, I've not seen it before, so. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. So I didn't know about that Ask the Police app. It's an interesting one. Uh, so we've got a uh, no entry one here. So this is where the vehicles come out from, which is interesting. 
You can see a vehicle down there pulling in, so I'm guessing that's the entrance way down that way. Uh, see a few constables and that standing around under the shelter in there. Um, yeah. We're going to come have a look down this way. Yeah, so this is the entrance way. We've got a CCTV fitted van. This is interesting. I noticed uh, on the top of her radio, she's got one of those uh, spikies. There we go, so yeah, she's waiting for the gate to close behind her. Hey, you are Yeah, so this one wasn't a planned trip today, guys, the Hammersmith one, so I don't know much about it. I haven't looked recently to see if anybody else has been here, so I don't know what sort of thing to be expecting from them. Here's some sirens coming. Uh, there's an ambulance, not a... Oh, but there is a marked vehicle. Marked police one coming in. Come on, mate. Hello, bad, thank you. you okay? Yeah, all good. Just. Why are you filming anything? Pardon? Are you filming? Yeah. Filming what? Oh, it's your vehicle. What vehicle? <laughs> the one you're in. You're right outside the police station. Well, yeah, that's where you find police cars generally. Huh? That's where you find police cars that's generally. Oh, well, yeah. Why are you filming police vehicles? Pardon? Why are you filming well, I do mind you asking, actually, to be honest. Uh, yeah. But you do what you got to do. I might not be here. I might run away. Uh, we got uh, JHK. It's a bit of a stretch, that, isn't it? See how this one goes. That makes sense as to why the uh, passenger got out of the van for the uh, first one. A few moments later. Uh, so you're right. Yeah, not bad. So, not bad. So, good. Yeah, not bad. It's cold. Okay. Cold and wet. These are uh, paving stabs, they're really slippery to walk on. I don't know if I've got something on the bottom of my shoe. Yeah, I mean, mine, but they are. They're really slippery as well. Yeah, they're pretty um, good. No, all it is, mate, is um, so obviously you were filming the front gate of a police station mm -hmm. um, and literally directly where the pee pad is, where our officers are putting their coats in. Right. And for us, it's just a bit suspicious and also a little bit of kind of a terrorist threat as well. I'm not saying anything, but it is 
It's because a possibility, isn't it? It's a possibility, isn't it? And it's very low possibility. It's something that we need to kind of challenge. Very low possibility. Yeah. It's, it's also a possibility it's that we might get a 40 degree weather today, but it's highly it's, unlikely. Listen, what you're saying. If you call yeah, us, we call if you're just having a... Yeah, yeah. A, no, open, no, I'm, I'm, open yeah and I'm just, um, I'm, I'm just being as reasonable as you're being. Yeah, you, so, you know. From our point of view, we just want to understand your intentions and why, obviously, yeah. you were filming. That's fine. I appreciate so that. what would that be? Unfortunately, I don't answer questions. No, is it like... Is it for like a YouTube channel? Is it for like auditing or something like that? Again, I don't answer questions, but if... What a 19. We'll come back to them. So I'll come back to you, um, Scott and Mouse. Um, um, so obviously in this climate... Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Well, Sorry. I, I, I don't actually want to engage with you. That's why I okay. walked away and okay, but stopped we can engaging. Still engage with you as you well. can, but I can also just ignore yeah. you. So yeah. don't just say, "Sir," like I have to stand yeah. around and talk to you. I get that. Okay. okay. You may or may not want to listen, but we can engage with you as well. Um. To this day and age, unfortunately, I'm mean, dealing with a real terrorism threat, which is why I've been volunteer so people don't come driving. What? what into sorry. What, um, what's the current terrorist uh, threat level? I think it's kind of just in the middle, like, in the middle of the substantial. It's substantial. Yeah, so... That, that's what it is at the moment. The attack is not likely, okay. but it's not unlikely. Okay. okay. Do you know, since this new system mm. of substantial, severe, yeah. and that, yeah. substantial is the lowest it's ever been. Okay. It's never that. been lower than that, but so that's like the baseline. So don't throw around words like terrorism when it's the... Why? No, I can't. No, I can't. Uh, I know what you're going to say, and no, I can't. The keypad. The, to the entrance of the police station is a bit suspicious. So you're making an assumption of what I'm no. filming here, aren't you? You're, got, you're you are. very close to the keypad, well, aren't I, you? I said, I said when I got there, are you filming? And you said yes. Yes, but you're assuming that I'm filming the keypad. That's the way your camera was angled. You can see my screen from where you were sat in your car, can you? You can no. see what on my camera where was camera You can see how zoomed in I was. Maybe I zoomed in where, on where you. Maybe I zoomed in on your front wheel. Where the camera was positioned, it looked like it was doing. All you want to do is just speak to you, engage with you, see, number one, why you're filming, yeah. and obviously how long you're Maybe we can here. assist you, I don't know. I don't need any assistance, thank you. Your services are not required. Would you like to give us your name, in the name and details? Can you give me yours? Yeah, PCY2420, Alpha Whiskey. Thank you, and you, sir? PC Harding, 2968. 2968, Alpha yeah, Whiskey. Yeah. You both based here, are you? Yeah, yes, we are. Based, um, yeah. So would you like to give us your details, too? No, absolutely not. I don't think you would. Why would I? That, that's all it is, mate. It's, it's We've given you our details. Yeah, but you're obliged to because you're engaging with me as a police officer, aren't you? As a constable. So you're mm -hmm. obliged to. Mm -hmm. A member of the public not obliged and, to give you and anything. And we can engage with you just as equally. Yeah, absolutely, of course you can. But again, I've already told you that I don't want to be engaged with. Mm -hmm. I would consider this now harassment. I've walked away from you. Okay. You followed me to continue with engaging harassment with me. It's the course of conduct times two. So you know what harassment is? I do, you? absolutely. Course of conduct mm -hmm. to, uh, uh, to convince a uh, member of the public to disengage from a lawful yeah, activity yeah, so or engage in an activity that they're not lawfully obliged to do. The law. So and it's been on more than one occasion. I've told you I don't want to engage. You followed me. I did move away from you. You followed me to continue this conduct. So yes, I would now say that this is harassment at this point. All it is for us is just it's a bit suspicious and we want to find out obviously why, why you're filming. That's you it. know what I find? I understand people make YouTube channels, people are auditors, you have a right to film in public. Can I tell you what I find suspicious? A silent fart after curry night. Sorry? A silent fart after curry night. That's what I find suspicious. That's what I find suspicious. It's about as suspicious as what this is. So. You intend to be here long? As long as I want to be. Absolutely. We're going to speak to the relevant people, alright? <laughs> okay, um, it, might, it just might be, mate, because it, obviously it looks a little suspicious, it might just continue to get stopped. And, and I'll tell them exactly the same thing. Not thought it would be any aggro. Yeah. Uh, um, did either of you turn your body cameras on when you approached? Yeah, uh, it is on, yes. You did. Yeah. Is there you a reason? Can you is, film us? We can film you. Uh, I'm not saying you can't, absolutely you can. It's, it's everybody's right to film in public, not a problem. Can I just ask why you didn't follow your policies and notify a member of the public when you started recording them? Uh, according to the so, according to the Home Office, I'm, according to the MPS. I'm not sure if you are aware of all the policies. Would you like me to bring it up on my okay. phone, miss? I, I, will, I will read it to are you. Are you referring to Google? No, obviously, no, it's the MPS. when it's practicable, yes. But oh, and when has it not been practicable in this situation? Well, it's a bit of a threat that you're still in the entrance. Of so the you can't station. approach with, good afternoon, we want to talk to you, just let you know we've been, you're being recorded. The is to find out why you're filming. 
find the gate for the police station. Look, the still, only the only time her, you haven't told us why. The only time it is uh, excusable for you not to announce it is if you're going into a situation mm. and it's straight away you're going hands on to detain or arrest somebody. Think, Otherwise, you think you, you can't. There's so there's no reason. I'm sorry. I, I will literally okay bring this up for you and I'll read it for you verbatim and I'll show you the document. I'm not going to have conversation and stuff that I don't think is applicable, right? Why is we it not applicable? Not security uh, security staff, they have body worn, okay. so do we. Yep, the Metropolitan Police updated September 2020. It's the most recent you document. Seem, you seem very invested. It's the most recent document. This paragraph here, all right? I'm going to le let you read it with me. This one here. Body worn video is an overt system and should not be used for covert recording other than in exceptional circumstances and where the necessary and this, authorities have been granted. And this is not an exceptional let, circumstance. No, let me finish. Okay. okay. As body worn video is overt recording, officers must declare wherever possible when they are commencing audio and visual possible. recording during each and every encounter. So again, because you haven't come out and you haven't grabbed me and you're not detaining me or arresting me, there is absolutely no reason, no excuse for not starting the conversation. You've said a lot of things during this conversation mm. and you're telling me not one of those things could have been, by the way, sir, you're being recorded. Not one of them. No, no sir, whenever possible. Yes. Sure. And ha again, when was that not possible? Yeah. Oh, look at that. yeah, so again, when was that not possible? Well, like I said earlier, my priority was to speak to you first to establish why you're filming the And whilst you're speaking to me, again, you've said a lot of things during this conversation. Yeah. Why could not one of those things be in by the way, you're being recorded. Yeah. Why not? Like I said, my, fir my first thing to do, we're just going to go around days. the circles, aren't we? Like, yeah, because your excuse is absolute bullshit and you know okay. it. Well, okay. don't swear it's on only, the only It's not an offence. It's, it's absolutely it's not. It's an offence to swear at somebody to cause abuse, threatening or, yeah, in, or insulting. It's no, it's not. You can swear as part of your general vocabulary. Go talk it up with Lord Just take it up with Lord Justice no, Bean, who's already ruled on this in the highest court of this country. You cannot Section overrule that. Section 5 is when it's directed at somebody. And Section, I didn't di direct Section it. Section 5 is out to anybody. When somebody else can feel if harassment it's, alarm If stress. it's likely, if it, again, if it's abusive, threatening or insult, actually insulting has been removed from Section 5. Be, if can, it's threatening or abusive. Saying something is bullshit is not threatening or abusive. It's just saying something is bullshit. That's part of your, yeah, that's part, no, 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 no. That's, that's part of your general vernacular and it's been ruled on by the highest court of this country. So try another one. I will say everything's bullshit if everything is bullshit. Is it? Because everything is bullshit that's coming out of your oh, mouth. I get the idea now. Yeah, you get it? I'm going to continue no, no, to say it. I'm getting the idea of your intentions. Clearly, just trying to wind us up. No, you're winding me up by, by saying that I can't do something that when I can we, do. When we came well, out... What I said that you can't do? You just said I can't swear no. when I can. Okay, when we've come out to talk to you, I think we've been very polite. We've just said, look, we've come to have a, a Yeah, a and I told you that I don't want to engage with you, and not then you continue to harass me. Not initially. Not initially, but you agree that I have told you that I don't want to engage with you, and then you followed me, and you have continued to engage Quality. with me, and now you're saying that I can't do something that I'm legally entitled to do, and you're trying to say that it's a, an offence when it's not. We can, also, which, we can also talk to people. We're not arresting you. We're having a conversation with you. And when, so if I walk up to somebody and they say they don't want to talk to me, then I follow them and try to talk to them again and repeat this behaviour, I wouldn't be arrested for harassment if they reported it? Of course I would. Right. Again, I will repeat, your services are not required. Please leave me alone. We've also got a duty to protect the public and our police building as well. You've also and got a duty under your oath to uphold the rights of the people of this country, which is what I'm exercising right now, isn't it? Please, 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 please. No, it's, um, let's just go and have Yeah, a good idea. Just go. Yeah, well, like okay. I said, so don't, don't be... Don't be, don't be mate, just go. Don't be surprised if you just get challenged and challenged okay. and challenged. Just to let you know, as a heads up, you will be getting IOPC complaints for your body worn video worry. because you're obviously not aware and you're, you refuse to don't acknowledge worry. the fact that you need to Bye. notify. Take care, mate. All right, goodbye. Nice little debrief in the yard. Let's see if they're going to come and uh, try and arrest me under the section five.
So that's what happens when you know the law more than the police. They try and threaten you with an offence, and then when you tell them that it's not the case, they walk away because they know they're wrong. I think we found the, the local police's coffee spot. So we just had uh, two come out from over there with their coffees. Now we've got some more looking to go in over there. Don't know if that means that it's uh, good coffee over there or if that's just the closest one to the station because it is directly across the road, who knows? I think they decided it was too busy. So we got this vehicle here driving whilst on his phone. Texting while moving. What an idiot. He didn't even realise that I was filming it then. I hate that guys, that is one of my biggest pet peeves is people texting and driving. It's people like that that kill people like me on a motorcycle on the road. It's very dangerous. Especially around London where you got motorbikes and mopeds uh, coming up and down, filtering through traffic all the time. Absolute idiot, isn't he? So we've got a van coming out. Not on blues though, by the looks of it. Oh, we've got one trying to come in and one trying to come out at the same time. This is going to be interesting. He's going to win this one. Well, oh, they've got red flashing lights go on the back of their van. That's interesting. I wonder what that's for. They haven't got their lights on on the uh, top of the vehicle, the blues, it's got the red flashing on the back of the van. Yeah, it's definitely coffee break time guys all over there. got an unmarked one coming by on uh, blues. Bloody traffic though. Ooh, wow. Got another one. There we have it guys, uh, I'm gonna wrap that one up there and move on to the next spot. Uh, it looks like uh, they've been told that I'm there 
had a few more vehicles come in and out and nobody else has stopped me or anything like that. So, yeah, we're just going to move on. Oh, no wonder everybody's going over there. They're doing uh, free coffee today and tomorrow. That's why they're all going over there. Interesting. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to wrap that one up. And head on to the next one. So yeah, until then guys, stay safe. And yeah, remember your rights and make sure you know the basics of the law at least like these public order offences uh tax obviously terrorism act uh make sure you know that one as well if you're ever going to do this or well, just in general to be honest just good to know it um yeah until the next one guys Sarah. <laughs>